All right, boys, we might have a brand new running back one in town. I'm not sure if I will take him because he doesn't get a starting X Factor over CJ2K, but he gets another ability that might have some more value on your team, even if you don't play him as RB1. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. This Travis Etienne card actually looks insane. If you're looking for cheap, fast coins to build that God Squad you always wanted, check out my sponsor, U4GM, and use code CHU for 5% off your order. So ETN actually gets tied speed with CJ2K. He's 86 Excel, 86 Agility as well. And then he gets the Boom card, Strat card, whatever. I don't know when that ends. I probably should have looked before recording this. But he gets plus 10 Truck, which goes up to 80. He has also 89 Break Tackle, 86 Change Direction. And the good news is, boys, he can do the fast spin. 85 spin, 86 Juke. But like I said, he doesn't get the starting X factor like our guy CJ2K does with his vintage card, but he does get return man. With the fast spin and also breaking a tackle, low-key return man might be insane. I'm going to have him as a return guy as well as playing running back. Hopefully we get some crazy plays with him, man, because I'm super excited to see what he can do. All right, boys, game number one. We do have him at kick returner. Like I said, I think that's a big feature with the card and a big reason why people might get him. He's actually in the top three, too. Travis Etienne. I'm excited, dude. I haven't really seen ever or had a, in my time of doing gameplays on Madden, well, since he's been drafted, really, he's never had a top, top end card, so this is exciting. Oh, man, they made Heinz Ward grab it. Ah, maybe I should have had him. At, I, I feel like Kick Returner 2 is the one that usually grabs it, right? It's a little unfortunate right there, man. I just wanted one chance. All right, and when I record running back gameplays, double leg gap is my worst nightmare. It's the hardest thing to run against, in my personal opinion. But let's see. First play of the game, he got super, super bumped right there. The fast spin from ETN, double fast spin. 87 speed to the crib, man. That's what you like to see, dude. I'm telling you, he's very, very good. And also, I, I don't know if I mentioned it when I was doing the intro. I compared him to CJ2K. He's better in literally every single stat. Literally every single stat. The only thing he doesn't have on him is that evasive X Factor. But he has return, man. I don't know, man. I think there's real conversations to be had here for running back one. Hey, right, boys, we got Bunch tied at one of the harder formations to guard in the game. He's doing some crazy motions already. I don't know what he's going to do. Honestly... I'm going to be honest, boys. I think I kind of want to keep ETN, but I also just built a Cardinal Steam team. I just built a Cardinal Steam team for J uh, for uh, CJ2K, but I love I love new cards. ETN's never been good in Mutt before, or at least top tier like this, so ah, I don't know what to do. All right, boys, he, is, he did this last play as well, but I think he's just going to flip the entire game. Don't know why, but he's... Here we go. This is going to be one of those games, boys. We're, we're mainly going to probably be on offense this one. He's flipping every single play quick snapping what he's doing boys he comes out on the opposite side on purpose flips it and then obviously sometimes a lineman can get stuck just like that yeah it's it's a it's a super common thing in madden it's one of those hated things out there too just, i just couldn't do it the only reason like it just you have to have so much time to do this every single play every single play man that's got to get brutal right like it's got to get like annoying on your end your games are longer it's just crazy i don't know i couldn't do it man but respect i guess Let's see what we can do real quick right here, though. Oh, man, we we finally got that guy out. And, oh, Evan Ingram's frying Earl Thomas. Dude, we need to punish this guy, though. He's hurried up every single play. He's sprinting to the line. Please, EA. Come on, man. There's got to be a penalty for hurrying up literally every single play of the game. I don't care. Look at, look at his running back. Everyone's got to be dead exhausted out there. Just threw into heart. Oh, see, I told you. There's the punishment. That's what it should be, EA. You should not be able to play like that. Every single time. That is terrible for the game. Bro, you know how exhausted you would be if you did that every single play? Literally, you you hurried up to the line. Then you got set, flipped to the other side, quick snapped it, and then did it like 10 plays in a row. Like, dude, the players wouldn't even be able to run. Even NFL athletes. See if we got outside of the pocket real quick. I could have scrambled, but like, come on, dude. I literally, like, come on. What are we doing, yay? I'm not going to lie. That was a, a bit brutal right there. I wish I could run down here, but day, double A gap against the run is just guaranteed safety almost. Let's see if we can get going. I'm going to the outside. Marvin Harrison. Easy. Just give me the first. I, tr I, I tried. Probably should be flipping like he's doing to me, man. I just can't do it. Like I said, it makes the gameplays way longer. It's just like, ah, uh, it's so, like, so extra every single time. I think we're going to have X on the bat. He hit that throw every single time today. That was the first time he's missed it all day, boys. First time. Like when that, that only happens when you're winning, by the way. That never happens when you're losing in the game. You know, the easy, easy plays missed. Najoku, though, come on, easy first. Get out of bounds. I'm not even going to risk it. No fumbles for me. Boys, this is what we ended up scoring a touchdown on last time. But I'm actually going to run it to the weak side. And there's just... If you, wa if you watch that play, the way he just got seven yards rewarded to him is crazy. Never mind, he guessed fast. So I guess if we don't come out in bunch, he's get. 
This could be a really hard run. At least we got our big run and a touchdown already because this guy is going to do everything he can to kill the running back. Let's see what we got out here, though. Think maybe a motion up the... Oh, he died, man. We can't have that happening, Marvin. He went out of bounds. I'm going to try to run. I feel like this is the only run that's decently successful against it. Let's see if we can have a nice little spin move, maybe. <sighs> it's so tough, dude. Double A gap is literally Zeus, dude. I'm going to try to make this last possession as well. I do not want to have to deal with the flipping, especially at the end of the half as well. Let's see if we can have a quick, quick little play. The hard flat was caught lacking, man, and look at Joku. Big play. Boys, what do you guys think the odds are that he guesses run right here? He guessed ran on it last time. Let's see. He, uh, I mean, he did it. He did it, but he got instantly through on his... Am I doing something wrong or am I getting cheated? I don't know. I just want ETN to have a chance. All right, he's in double A gap here. If we can get to the outside on the stretch, I think we'll be in a really, really good spot here. We didn't even have a chance over there, man. ETN fall forward, though. That most likely got us in field goal range, which I'll take. All right, we're about to snap the ball here because if we do convert, at least we'll get to the two-minute warning real quick. And, oh, Marvin, dude, this dude is way too good. He's frying man coverage out here. Oh, we actually have to snap the ball because we threw it way too early. We... We actually have to snap here, boys. I'm actually going to run it to the right, though. Let's see if Najoku can make a play. Hopefully, we caught him off sleeping, too. I think we did. And, all oh, ETN. That's what we want to see, boys. Easy play for ETN. And another touchdown, man. I think that's 100 yards we just cracked right there. I'm telling you, these gameplays are about as hard as ever been to record running back gameplays because of this defense. But when we make a play like that, man, I'll take it every single day. Let's go, baby. Do it every play. Why did I ask a stupid question, boys? I literally just asked, does he do it every play? And he's, I think he's 100% on doing it literally every single play. He's motioning. I think he's just trying to mess up alignments. That's basically the scheme here. Let's see what he has for us real quick, though, boys. Good defense. We're going to bag this over here. Oh, you're lucky that was a red. You are lucky that's a red. That's a pick. Every play is insane, though. Like, come on. Wait, hey, you should be fumble galore. Like, this dude should quite literally fumble every single play almost. See? Oh, no, that was my guy. Oh, that's tough, boys. That's tough. See, the thing is, is having absolutely no scheme besides flipping and quick snapping with bad alignments is going to hurt you in the end. Because, like, literally, there's going to be times where you're going to have to literally, you're going to play people that adjust really, really fast, and you're just going to be cooked out there. He's calling the same play every single time. He's just hoping the alignment's messed up. Oh, like, this is insane. Insane. I feel like every single day, every gameplay, like yesterday, I think it happened in one of our gameplays, and he route stem glitched. Okay, okay, I have no respect anymore, boys. I have no respect. He quit, so he... Called the play, opposite the side he wanted to. Flipped it, route seven glitch. <sighs> yeah, we're super sweating this game out now, GG's. Just give ETN, come on, kick it to ETN. That's all I want to see. Kick it to ETN, let's go, man, that is huge. I want to see what he can do on this play. If we can get a kick return touchdown too, that would be ultimately like the best thing ever. It's, it's hard, it's hard at times. It's, it's a little lucky. I right, just get three. We need to score here, make it a two possession lead heading into half, and that's all we need on the board right now. And Marvin, wide open again, man, every time. I feel like I'm very limited on my play calls because of the blitz right now. I'm very, very limited on what I could do. But let's see what you could do over here. I think RB is going to be wide, man. That's what we want to see, Heinz Ward. Huge, huge play. And I'm also going to go down. I'm going to go down, boys. I'm going to chew this clock out. I would rather go up two possessions with him having no time to play. I, I don't care. I, the route stem and the flipping has got me to that point, man. That's how I'm going to play. I'm going to wait till like 25 seconds to snap it on a run with ETN real quick. And maybe we could even stat pad a little bit with ETN real quick. And ah, good play, man. Good play. We're in bounce, though. That's good. And we got one more play in us. One more play. I probably should have sweated a little bit hard for a touchdown, but it is what it is. And actually, I think we're going to get it, boys. ETN, fast spin with seven seconds remaining on the board. We're dancing. I don't care, man. I, I'll, I'll be toxic back. Three touchdowns, and he's dominating the meta defense right now. All right, boys. I'm going to let this guy play around by himself. If he wants to keep on flipping, so be it, man. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to let... Hopefully, we can just make him chew clock in this defense. He's just chucking it up, though. We had pick artists, man. That's game right there. If we want to keep on flipping against coverage-based defense and doing the same flip every time, I might have to cut out defense, boys, until either big third downs or what. But this is it's a little excessive. I ain't going to lie to you. This is super excessive gameplay. And Oh, come on, Mel Blum can't get killed. The good news with him playing like this, though, is he chews the clock literally for me. Like, he is literally chewing the clock. Throws another bad ball. Catches it, too. Sometimes, hey, I know a lot of you guys hate KOs, but there's a reason why they're in the game. That's a bad read. I don't care what anyone says. That's a bad, bad read. He didn't even get to do it because he snapped the ball after flipping so fast, but he just took a sack right there. And guess what? He hurried up. He's literally losing so much time in this game right now because of it. And I think on the back end... Oh, he still threw this? If he would have caught that, man, that would have been like the third bad catch this, this whole drive. Oh, he's not flipping anymore. He's getting... Oh, he's not feeling it, man. He's not feeling it anymore, is he? All right, I'm setting my curl flats to 25 right here. He's probably going to 
I mean, hopefully, we're just guessing pass. Hopefully, we can just get some pass rush. But those guys, the purples are going to 25. We have the four deep zones as well. They're not going to match because I put on those uh, zone drops. Yeah, GG's, man, GG's. Easy, easy adjustments in the second half here. It's just tough. I can't get him to go in. The, you have to block him every single time against double A gap. So it's really, really tough. I should glitch stick him or glitch stem him back as well because he did it to us. But look at Marvin. Hey, I'll do it every play. Literally every play, I'll do it. You guys know I'm completely against the route stem, but if they do it to me, I do it to them. That's my logic. I think that should be everybody's logic as well. I don't think you should do it. It's terrible. They're going to take it out of the game as well. It shouldn't be your offense. But if they do it to you, man, do it to them. And oh, everything in the game is wide open. We're going to go down so we can choose some more clock. Get some ETN involvement. All right, man. Come on, ETN. One more touchdown would be the absolute best thing ever. And, ah, oh, just... Oh, my. Yeah, 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 yeah. ETN's insane. How did we just get out of that, man? This spin. I don't know how... You guys have to get at least one of the running backs of the spin. Moster, Saquon, ETN. At one of them. The spin is broken, dude. And, boys, he ended up hitting the rage quit, man, right after that play. We didn't get to get our fourth touchdown, but... He got in our hearts. I quite literally think ETN has a chance at being RB1. He's better in every single stat. I know that only matters to a certain fashion. He's going to fumble less. He has a way better carrying as well. And he also gets a really good ability. It, the, the thing is, do you guys think evasive is that big of a deal? It really is for the spin only. It's only on for four plays. Or do you want that return man to help? And it depends. It depends. Most people probably will have two if you have a super, super god squad. Let me know who is RB1, him or CJ2K. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, boys.